This is the location of the famous Battle of Sitka, 1804, when the Russian sailors slash merchants came in from the Pacific Ocean right out there, arrived here at this land, and defeated the Tlingit indigenous people who had been here for centuries. For the next hundred years or so, this land was controlled by Russia until it was sold to the United States as part of the Alaska Purchase. Of course, the Tlingit people are still here. You see them all over the place. Many of them have married with people from other cultures and are now of mixed race, like most of us are. This is the location of the siege, where the Tlingit people were holed up for six days while the Russians bombarded them from their cannons, or with their cannons, from the water, just a couple hundred yards off to the right here. And this open area was actually walled with thick wooden walls. The walls were strong enough that they could take direct blows of the cannons and they weren't coming down. There are apparently 700 people stockaded in here. They had a totem pole similar to this. And after a few days when the totem pole was take, took a direct hit with, by a cannon and half of it toppled down, a lot of them took this as a sign that they had been defeated and it was time to leave. 700 people right here in this spot under siege for six days. On that night, the sixth night, they decided that was it. They weren't going to be able to endure this anymore. And so what they did is they escaped quietly in the night and they got off of this island, Baranoff Island, and went to the nearby Chigachoff Island. You have to swim across a strait in order to get there. The Russians had taken over Tlingit land, which had been in their possession for centuries, and this was now sovereign Russian territory. The Russians actually went to the nearby town and burned the whole thing to the ground and renamed this place New Archangel. However, the old indigenous name Sitka, which is derived from the Tlingit word, is what we still know of it as today.